Hi, my name's Rob Yates and I have over 30 years experience in the conservatory industry. In this video you will learn all about option two, which is build around existing conservatory roof. I will explain and show you with photographs each stage of a completed solid tiled roof by Eco Conservatory Solutions. Now, is your conservatory too hot in summer, too cold in winter, too noisy in bad weather? Then we have the answer. Let's have a quick recap of the three options and choices available to change your conservatory roof. They are option one, replace and rebuild the whole conservatory roof. Option two, build around the existing conservatory roof. And option three, replace the poly or glass with aluminium insulated panels. I have completed videos for options one and three and will send them to your inbox. We can provide a quotation for all three options. Okay. Now let's take a look at three different conservatory designs with a completed solid tiled roof. This is a three facet Victorian with brown tiles to match. This is a double hipped Victorian into box gutter. This is an unusual shape, but similar to a lean to. A lean to must have a minimum of 14 degree pitch for Tapco tiles. Why? Because of the tiles. Any lower and water will get under the tiles. If you do not have at least a 14 degree pitch, then you can either change the roof design or have a look at option three, which is aluminium insulated panels. Now let's go through step by step an installation using the existing conservatory roof. The first step is to install timber battens to the underside of the existing rafters. This is achieved by screwing into existing aluminium subframe. Next, we cut and install TLX Thinselex nine layer multifoil insulation to cover the underside of the existing conservatory roof. This is equivalent to having a quilt installed. The Thinselex is then secured by fitting more buttons onto the other buttons which we previously installed onto the rafters. Now we are ready for plasterboard. As you can see, the plasterboard is easily cut and screwed onto the timber battens. The idea is to copy the original conservatory roof design in every way. Downlighters can be installed anywhere within the roof as you can see. The plasterboard has now been skimmed and you can see the shape of the roof. Spotlights have been installed into the ridge. Now it's time to go outside. What you can see in this photograph is the glazing chamber from outside. We take out the poly or glass and refit an insulation panel. Shapes are not a problem as they can be cut out on site from large sheets. Once we have replaced all of the old poly or glass with insulation sheets, it's time for the next stage. As you can see, the roof is now covered with OS boards. These boards are screwed into the top of the old conservatory roof. Once this stage is complete, the roof is strong enough to walk on. A breathable waterproof membrane is then used to cover the whole roof. Now that we have modified the existing roof, we have to build a new fascia and soffit. Guttering will be added after tiling. Tapco tiles are individually cut and installed on site. The tiles are screwed into the OS boards. Ridge cappings are then fitted to provide the end finish. Tapco tiles come in lots of different colours. Guttering is then fitted to the fascia board. This installation is now complete with a solid tiled roof. The installation took three days to complete. Day one was mainly internal work. Day two was mainly external work and day three was finishing touches both internally and externally. The homeowners are delighted with their new solid tiled roof. Let's take a look at before and after photographs. As you can see the original conservatory is tired with discoloured polycarbonate. The new solid tiled roof has transformed this room for any time of the year adding value to both lifestyle and property. This new extension will keep the room cool in summer, warm in winter, eliminate rain noise completely. It's added value to the property because it's now an energy efficient, well-constructed extension. 
definitely a room for all seasons. That concludes option two, build around existing conservatory roof. Now this option is great value for money. For more information and a free no obligation quotation, either go to the website and fill in a form with your details. Once I have received your information, I will contact you as soon as possible to arrange an appointment. The Facebook page has lots of photos of completed work as well as an option to get a quotation. Or, if you prefer, you can email me directly at this address. If you have any questions at all, please contact me. Hopefully this has helped you understand the options and choices available to change your conservatory roof to a solid roof. I will be providing an individual installation video for the other options 1 and 3 via email. And finally, thanks for listening.